Hello Gemini, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. Gemini, this is your reading. Uh, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa. In this reading, we'll see what are the secrets that you need to know. What are the secrets that you're meant to hear? Okay, so I'll shuffle the cards, I'll lay them down, and then we'll start with the energies. You've got some fantastic cards. The Emperor, the Hierophant, Emperor, then we have Hierophant, then we have the Knight of Wands, we have Five of Cups, then we have Two of Wands, and we have Six of Pentacles, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have Chariot. All right, Gemini, so uh, Gemini, what I feel over here is <clears throat> your success is kind of dependent upon uh, the uh, professional personal success in this lifetime. Is kind of dependent upon how you network with people. You are meant to get in touch with people who are more successful than you, people who are more educated and more uh, people who have been through a lot, people who are full of experiences in their life, people who have a lot of wisdom. Your success is kind of dependent upon you maintaining and you developing relationships with such kind of people, okay? Because whatever learnings you're going to get from them, those will be like gems of your life. Something that you will be, you will have to nurture for your entire life, okay? So what I feel over here is uh, it is very important for you to be a bit extrovert in your life. Be open to meeting and greeting people. Be open to developing relationships. And when I say relationship, not necessarily uh, only romantic relationship. Okay, You have to talk to people from uh, all walks of life. You have to take initiatives uh, to to meet such kind of people and how I mean again I'm repeating your personal and professional growth your personal and professional success will depend upon after you I mean uh, after you kind of develop your uh, relationships with such kind of people from whom you will learn a lot from whom you will gain something and you are meant to cross paths with such kind of people in this lifetime you're meant to cross paths with people who are very successful, who are very wise, who are very mature, probably very spiritually awakened as well. And these people are meant to become your, your mentors. They are meant to become your friends in, in long term. They are meant to guide you. You will, get, you will get a lot from them. And you are meant, again I'm repeating, you're meant to do something like this. Because in this lifetime, your personal and professional growth is kind of dependent upon you meeting such kind of people, you maintaining relationships from such kind of with such kind of people. And again, I'm I'm repeat I'm using the word personal as well. Even your personal growth is dependent upon uh, upon 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 this. Okay, the kind of tidbits that you're gonna get from these people, they will they will help you in long run. Okay, I, again, I do feel like, uh, so for that, you have to be a bit vocal, you have to be open to experiences, you have to be open to meeting people, how you can meet people, maybe we're attending seminars and webinars and, you know, probably if you're open to learning, maybe going back to school, college and university, or maybe uh, learning certain new skills, upgrading your skill, uh, skill sets, okay. Keep on learning continuously. Learning is going to be a very important part of your life. If you if you really want to grow as a person, if you really want to attract right kind of people, see, the more we grow, the more uh, it helps us to attract right kind of people. People with right mindset get attracted towards us if we are also in that mindset. 
and for you to get into a right kind of a mindset you have to take an initiative to to be with such kind of people okay then another message i'm getting over here is please stay away from people who are not who are highly inconsistent who don't have that mojo or who don't have that uh, right kind of an attitude who are very inconsistent who who do not want to do anything you know what there are two types of people one is positive one is negative positive people they try to find solution for every people and negative people are those people who want to find problems in even when the solutions are presented to them okay or who try to create more and more problems or who like to keep on uh, caressing the problems that they have they want to use the problems uh, as a pretext so that they always have the reasons for whatever is not happening in their life and i do feel like you will be surrounded by such kind of people as well you have to recognize such kind of people and you have to be bold enough you have to be courageous enough to distance yourself from such kind of people otherwise these people will keep you stuck in your life the knight of wands is telling me is that such inconsistent people such people with a negative mindset will be there in your life you will cross uh, paths with them uh, intermittently but you will have to recognize these people and you will have to distance yourself from such kind of people you have to be very emotionally and mentally strong you have to learn to say no i think so learning to i mean i think so saying no is the most difficult part of your life saying no is something that you really uh it 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 is it is not easy for you to reject people to deny things to people you you really like saying yes to make someone else happy and you have done that so far you have been doing that but you have to curb that practice you have to stop stop that another message i'm getting over here is men in your life whether you are a man or a woman watching this i do feel like men will uh, whether it is a father whether it is a husband whether it is a brother whether it is a friend or whether it is anyone else a boss whether it is a mentor but men will will be very very important to you because they will be hand holding you they will do lot of things they will kind of help you push you towards your destiny having said so i'm not saying that females won't be important but the kind of desired changes you want in your life these changes will happen through masculine energies and especially i do feel like these are some ancestral masculine energies which are trying to push you towards the desired direction which are trying to push you towards your destiny so if you are feeling the presence of such kind of energies if you're feeling like someone is trying to someone wants me to do something and if that is a gut feeling if that's an inner voice please go ahead and do that do not reject that voice travel is very healing for you travel will prove to be extremely healing so if at all you feel like depressed for days together please pack your bags and go somewhere even if it is for one day or two days pack a bag and go somewhere travel is extremely extremely healing for you it is healing for many people but when it comes to you it 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 acts like a miracle it's a miraculous medicine for you traveling is a miraculous medicine for you remember this always and claim the messages in the comments section <clears throat> the next thing i do feel gemini is that uh the money that you're going to make in this lifetime the money and the love okay the money that is meant to come towards you money is coming especially from far off distances so probably you will be doing some sort of a business or you will be engaging into something from uh where through which you will make lot of money from the country that you don't belong to it will come from countries outside of your country so i do see lot of foreign income over here 
and even for you i do feel like your spouse is going to be a foreign spouse might be of a same ethnicity might uh, uh, might have grown up in the same place where you are right now or where you had grown up but probably right now for work they are somewhere else but i i do see there is a distance between you and your future spouse and uh, <clears throat> you will meet your future spouse through a common friend or someone might act as a mediator or probably you will meet your future spouse online but i i the the possibility of you meeting your future spouse through someone is also very strong your future spouse is going to be very wise by the way very wise very uh, liberal in mindset very wise but this person will have some strong religious upbringing as well they probably are uh, they either they have a spiritual inclination or religious inclination again i am telling you if you at all feel depressed or sad in your life for days together make sure you pack your bags and go somewhere that will be a miraculous healing for you your future spouse very likely is going to be uh someone who who has who is already successful in their life or someone who is doing very well in their life personally and professionally if i have to talk about water don't go very deep into water i'll not say that avoid water sports but if at all you want to go for water sports make sure that you're wearing all the security uh, you know instruments and everything or whatever you need to wear before going into water okay uh you will always feel more safer on land and in air as compared to in water okay your safe zone will always be land and air so traveling by road or traveling by air will always be much more safer than traveling through sea through water for you specifically all right I hope this resonates Gemini hit like share and subscribe and comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you and action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person take care have a great time and bye bye